Hey guys, this is Keegan here, and welcome back to my channel, and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys some DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of for as of June 25th, 2021, and this is on a Friday. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys 11 DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of. And most of these are going to be ones I'm going to be upgrading to either Blu-ray or 4K Ultra HD. And some of them are ones I recently upgraded and ones that I don't really need anymore. So I don't really have too much else to say. So let's show off what I'm going to be getting rid of. The first DVD I'm going to be getting rid of is V for Vendetta 2006 DVD. This is the widescreen edition. I'm going to upgrade this movie to 4K and get rid of my DVD copy of it. But Viva Vendetta is a great movie. I'm just going to upgrade it to 4K Ultra HD. The next two are ones I recently upgraded to 4K a little while ago. You might have seen in a video I did a little while back. And that is Donnie Darko. This is 2002 DVD. This is the theatrical version. I upgraded this to my... To the Arrow Video 4K that comes with both the theatrical and director's cut versions of the movie. So now that I have that, I'm going to get rid of this DVD. But Donnie Darko is a fantastic movie. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. But I'm just going to stick with my 4K Arrow Video box set that I bought a while ago. And the next one is the director's cut version of Donnie Darko. And I'm getting rid of it the same reason I'm getting rid of the theatrical version. This disc has the movie and this disc has the bonus features. Has some ads right here. Has office space which I do plan to get. This one I do plan to get either on Blu-ray or DVD or VHS or whatever. But like I said, Donnie Darko is one of my all-time favorite movies, and now that I have the 4K Arrow Video box set of it, I'm just going to get rid of both the director's cut and theatrical versions of this movie, since I have it now on the 4K box set. The next three, the next three are part of a series, and the first one is Divergent. I'm going to get rid of this DVD because I don't really feel like having it in my collection anymore. It's not a bad movie. It's not a great or an amazing movie, but I thought it was a an enjoyable movie for what it is. But I'm going to get rid of this because I don't really feel like having it in my collection. And then we move on to Insurgent, which uh, is the same reason I'm getting rid of Divergent. It's an okay movie, but I just don't really feel like having it in my collection anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. And same thing with Allegiant. Which this DVD was released in 2016. Insurgent was released in 2015 and Divergent was released in 2014. The next one I'm getting rid of is the Lego Batman movie. This one, I may upgrade the Blu-ray or not. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to get rid of my DVD copy of this. But I might upgrade it to Blu-ray, but I don't know. Maybe. Has an ultraviolet code, which this expired on December 31st, 2020. Has a, a Legoland coupon.
Next up is Fury. This one I'm going to upgrade to either Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. I think this has a 4K Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure it does, but I'm either going to upgrade this to Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. Has a digital code, which this expired on December 31st, 2018. But Fury is a pretty good movie. It's a pretty underrated war movie from the 2010s, in my opinion. The next one I'm getting rid of is The Aviator. This is the two-disc widescreen edition. This one I'm going to upgrade to Blu-ray. This disc has the movie, and this disc has the bonus features. But The Aviator is a great movie. It's a really good movie that Martin Scorsese directed. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the next DVD I'm going to be getting rid of is Stand By Me Special Edition. This is a 2000 DVD. This one I'm going to upgrade to either Blu-ray or 4K. Well, probably the 4K Blu-ray. But I'm going to get rid of this DVD and upgrade it to either Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. But Stand By Me is a great movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. I enjoyed that one. And the last DVD I'm going to be getting rid of is one that I recently upgraded to Blu-ray and you might have seen in my last video that I did. And that is Crash, part of the Warner Archives collection. This is a 2014 print. However, it does have the, the original 1998 prints. Like all the bonus. Well, it's just, this is a later print of the original 1998 DVD that was released by New Line Cinema. But yeah, I'm getting rid of this DVD, and I'm going to stick with my Criterion Collection Blu-ray of this movie. But Crash is a pretty good movie, pretty underrated David Cronenberg, and certainly a bizarre movie, if you know what I mean. So uh, those are all the DVDs I'm going to be getting rid of. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, please leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on Instagram, and feel free to follow me on Letterboxd. The link to my letterbox is in the description down below. So uh, once again, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.